Okay. It is time. My hair look good. Ooh. Hey, how you doing? Did you smile today? Hey, did you smile today? Hey, did you smile today? How you doing? It is time to take these out. Ooh, I'm so excited for this definition. Ooh, my twist looking extra presentable today. The sun is shining. It's just, it's a good day. It's, it's time. It has been nine days in total. Again, I apologize. I did not record myself installing these mini twists, but I did record myself doing a night routine and I'm about to take these out. If you guys want me to do a video of how I install them, I can do that for you. So first, I'm going to take out all this lock jewelry. All right, so to take out mini twists, usually I put as much as I can up into a ponytail. This just makes it so much easier, trust me. Put it all up into a ponytail. And then I start from the back and I pull one down. And then I unravel it, twirling it in the opposite direction to like an opening forms because it has been a week and I know there's some shed hair in here. Calm down. It's just, it's just twist air. Calm. <laughs> Ooh, if I act out a little bit. Oh, just, just, just look at that, that, that pattern just all the way down. <sighs> so if you're used to my channel, then you know that I separate as I go. But for this, I'm going to unravel all the twists without separating. And then I'm separate after I show you guys all my twists unraveled. Just look so good oh my gosh i got such high hopes you cannot have high hopes with your natural hair until it's all the way done like to the very last end but yeah let's speed this up if i know you better i would be where you are i know the grass look greener but girl you're the one i want and hearts alone not alone falls asleep ow the amount of definition is insane and it looks like i still have mini twists in when they're all unraveled that is a tip okay take a scrunchie or a little hair tie whatever tie it into a ponytail and just slide out your twists one by one that's what i always do no matter what size twists i have and it ensures i don't miss any usually i don't miss any i haven't untwisted these three yet but man <laughs> The only issues that I ran into was make sure that when you're twisting your hair that both strands are even because I did find like some strands were like this side was shorter and this side was longer so this side would like tangle in between the longer side and it was just a mess so I had to make sure I was careful about those but besides that <laughs> look at this look at look at this look at this separation is the hardest part because that could make or break it <laughs> so no pressure Ooh, look at that bounce Oh, bounce back. <laughs> Should I take these down? Yeah, I'm gonna take these three down. I'm gonna think about taking these three down, but I'm gonna um, separate like this section more and keep the top part more defined like how I did for my flat twist out. Yeah, I'm already seen that video. That twist out was bomb. But yeah, I'm about to go separate off camera. Surprise you guys with the final look. So I'll be right back. I need to know your love Lately I'm drunk, I'm calling I'm trying to find my heart Always trying to say you know me But you ain't know me I ain't trying to do you phony I do you better Oh, I don't want to see you ever feel alone Girl, you my queen I'm gonna put you on a go <laughs> You see this cheese? And that's because my hair is good This is a good hair day i was i was a little worried i was a little skeptical i was separate i'm like ooh, 
it's a lot of frizz happening. It's a lot of little tangles popping up. I'm like, I don't know how this is gonna look, but it turned out okay. Now I did pick the mess out of this hair. I didn't use any heat to stretch my hair. I banded it a little bit and I picked out the roots and voila, it's very tamed, I know. Got the little coil showing. If you saw my night routine, then you know I snipped some of my ends so you can see the coils just popping out. Just, ooh. I left the top section alone. I decided to keep these in. Add a little gold back. Mm, 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 mm. I look cute. Thank you. <laughs> I can't take myself serious. Now, you guys know that I've been trying to dim me down my stash. This is pretty much empty. This is the product that I used along with my Shea Moisture Jamaican by Castor Oil leave-in conditioner. And when I first used this, I used it by itself. So it's my first time pairing it with the leave-in. And I know it wasn't the leave-in's fault. So this is the Carol's Daughter for Coxie Nectar. If I said it wrong, I apologize. Curl Twisting Custard. And this is what it looks like. And you guys know me, I love me some Carol's Daughter. That was my ride or die when I first went natural because that's all I knew. When I first went to the store, I'm like, yep, that. So it says, what is a perfect twist out? <laughs> It's a twist out that lasts, it's soft to the touch and full of shine. This creamy custard is the way to achieve it. It's light enough to layer without weighing hair down and thick enough to hold natural styles without leaving behind a sticky flaky residue. It's infused with Procoxy oil, the conditioning miracle nectar of Brazil. Shea butter to help give her flexibility, shine, all that jazz. So, this product is, it's, kind of what they say it's not that thick but it does hold the shape of my curls and I honestly didn't expect to have my mini twist in for more than a few days I didn't expect it to last all nine days but in terms of flakiness there's there's a little flakage going on in here it's not the first time when I first used the product there was a little flakage but it's nothing too extreme there's like a kind of film on my hair but it's nothing that like bothers me too much I did experience a lot more frizz than expected while I was pulling my twists apart but that could be the product or that could be just me not taking my twist out in a few days it turned out pretty good if I do say so myself I think it looked good this product I don't know it has a different smell to it it's not that moisturizing it dries really really fast for a custard like it dries within a few hours and even when I used my leave-in conditioner it still dried just as quickly so if you were to buy this I would suggest using a very very moisturizing leave-in before to make sure that your hair is moisturized because this will dry quickly adds hold to moisture in the anti-frizz part that's kind of iffy depending on your hair my hair personally doesn't like this that much and I love Carol's Daughter and all the other products. I might not be repurchasing this, but this was fun to try. It served its purpose and my for its last twist up, my hair looked good. Ooh. So many twists. If you've seen my lazy natural hair routine video, mini twist is one of the hairstyles that I recommend because I've had my mini twist in for seven days, nine days actually. And I could make this twist out last another seven days. If you're a lazy natural and you only want to wash your hair about every two weeks to a month, then you could do a mini twist and you can rock that. And as, when you're ready to take your mini twist out, you can rock the twist out as long as it, you can push it through <laughs> before wash day. Twisting your hair for all those hours, but as many days as you get out of it, it makes the style worth it. And that's why it's one of my favorite styles. When I need to get out of my hair, just leave it alone. Instead of just letting it mat together under a bonnet, it's better if I just twist it up and just let it be. But yeah, it's smiley. Ooh, it's a good hair day. A good hair day. A good hair day. I didn't use any heat stretch out my twist out because there might be a little heated hairstyle coming soon. <laughs> a wink, a wink, and then we stop. But yeah. May Twist is a bomb hairstyle. This product, I'm not bashing it. It just didn't fully agree with my hair. Like, it looks good, but it just doesn't feel good. I don't want to pick and choose one or the other. I want both. So this one makes my hair looks good, but the feel just isn't as high as I want it to be. But yeah, taking, taking all this texture. <laughs> Look at that curl pattern. Here it's happening. 
I swear, my hair looks right. I just started rambling. So I'm going to just this end this video. Give it a thumbs up, a like, comment down below, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.